What's up, y'all? This is Marzi, and I am back here with another Reddit story. And in this Reddit story, I'm coming at y'all with a little bit of a how how would I put this? How would I put this? A little bit of like a cheating story without necessarily there being any action. But we got a text message, y'all, and y'all gotta determine if this text message declares him to be, you know, a cheater or declares him to be a bad person. Should she break up with this man? All right, and it's a single text message. So I'm gonna show you all this receipt. It's gonna pop up right here on this side. I'm not positive. I'm gonna show you this receipt. But before we actually end up jumping into this video, make sure you guys end up leaving a like, comment, subscribe, subscribing is free. Come join me in this journey. I'm on the road to 1,100 subscribers as of right now. I'm at 1,048. So we're almost halfway, right? We're almost halfway to 100. Hold on, hold on. Almost halfway to 100. <laughs> but there you go. Let's jump right into this. We got, am I overreacting? I found this text from my boyfriend to his coworker. Okay, girl, if you have to come to Reddit to come and ask us, I am positively sure you know you're not overreacting. But maybe he makes you feel like that. Maybe you feel like this relationship, he makes you feel like you're a little crazy that you need to come and ask some people. But let's jump right into this picture. Dude, and this is January 18th, 2, 2 p.m. on a Tuesday. Dude, I've had to cock block myself twice now. You gotta delete messages, man. That that one was, you're gone. That's it. You ruined it. <laughs> you already lost. Your girlfriend may forgive you, but you already lost, bro. The dude puts, haha, that's crazy, bro. Beats driving around still. He put, Lord help me. Why do I have a girlfriend? Bro, is he trying to see? I honestly. I think he's trying to seem cool to his friends because why do I have a girlfriend then leave her if that's the case? You know what I'm saying? Like leave her and then go and pursue whatever you want to do. But that's not true. He's capping probably to his boys to try and seem cool. Like, oh, why do I have a girlfriend, right? Like I can already picture these conversations they probably be having at work, man. And ultimately, you're not overreacting. He's revealed himself. The dude put right, lol. I feel you on that. And then that was pretty much it. That's the only message that she showed us. She ended up writing afterwards though saying, I am a 29 year old female. Found this text in my boyfriend's 29 year old male messages with his coworker. I'm feeling a little gutted from it. I don't want to overreact, but I also don't want to gaslight myself and underreact. I haven't once felt this way about him or in our relationship. So I'm feeling really taken off guard here. How do I go about this? See, and that's the thing too, because a lot of people that actually act this way, granted he didn't necessarily cheat physically, but remember, you, you lust with your mind, man. Though y'all are not mar married, but he's lusting. And lusting is cheating in my book. All right, so ultimately, what I would say is, you, you're you not gaslit. Don't don't allow him to gaslight you, right? Because he can then sit there and try to identify what cock block means, right? Because to him, cock blocking could possibly be, mean, or how he's going to explain it to you is that some girl came up to him and he said no. But even so, he, even if he can explain that first message, he cannot sit here and explain that second one. Um, saying, why do I have a girlfriend? What do you mean? What do you mean? What do you mean, why do I have a girlfriend? That sounds wild then, right? And I'm pretty sure there could have even been more messages that he that he's had previously, but he maybe just deleted. Um, so I honestly feel like your best bet is to show him those messages. Uh, or actually, no, I want to say prepare yourself beforehand. If you are willing to leave this man, um, you know, because this is a good reason to leave, right? But if you are not willing to leave this man, at least figure out in yourself, are you able to forgive in a way, you know, because the thing is, is he's always going to be around this coworker. You know, he can get smarter and start deleting messages, start doing this, start doing that. I know you never got these vibes around him, but obviously he is the type of dude to do this. So regardless if you got the vibes or not, uh he's like that so ultimately i feel like what it comes down to is truly how y'all are in a relationship right normally what i go based off of if this were to ever happen to me is if i feel like when i bring it to the person's attention if they don't lie to me and they tell me the truth if they seem remorseful if they seem um gu guilted like guilty if they feel really bad and they're like you know like I won't do this again and they're showing me active actions and showing me that they are trying right and i know what trying looks like because listen like we're oh, everybody everybody uh has a point and well everyone should be working on themselves everyone should be trying to heal their traumas right so if you're not 
if he's not trying you know what active trying looks like um i feel like that's where i identify it if you look like you're not going to do it again you're going to be actively trying obviously if you slip up again at some point later in the future as long like i said as long as you fall in those categories i may give you grace i may give you some i may give you some slack i may forgive but if you slack anywhere that's why i feel like the best thing for you to do is say i found i found something right like don't let him know what it is try to allow him to say it because now if you just show him right now he kind of has to either admit it or and or he might gaslight you now if he's trying to gaslight you then yeah end it right there because now he's just capping but even so i would say just bring it up like that like be like you know i found something in your phone and that i'm not happy with and see if he will reveal, reveal it right because what if he actually had done other things or he's actually flirted with these people and he'll be like oh my gosh you found out i flirted and yada yada now you learn the truth but otherwise if he still sits there and it's like what are you talking about right because he might have think he might may think he deleted it um then i'll be like show him the message and when you show him the message be like listen if you don't want to be together we don't got to be together like right you got to be like don't come at him crazy and like start swinging and being like this crazy person no literally be be gentle about it and of course like if you're gonna get angry get angry but don't over over overreact you know what i'm saying like just like keep it calm and be like listen if you don't want to be together we don't got to be together you know what i'm saying you could be crying you can get a little angry but like we don't got to be together because obviously you don't want to be with me you want to be with these other people now you're giving him the the and then ask him too and be like you know so what happened now when he explains it of course if he's not sitting here gaslighting you're good as long as he's explaining it he may still lie but you'll never know because you don't know the full story right so now that he's explaining it now like i said that's this is when everything else comes in is he showing remorse is he showing guilt is he asking for forgiveness is and and when he does these things if he does now explain to him because you guys are are grown right explain to him what it looks like to you that he is trying to not be this way no more right to not to not talk to his friends like this and because you know of course he, he, like, it sucks because you know some people really do just struggle with lustful thoughts um even if you're in a relationship some people just have lustful thoughts uh so that is such a difficult thing to say like if he continues to have these thoughts because it's like some people just truly struggle with it. But like I said, that's where it comes into the point of he needs to be trying to, one, not have those lustful thoughts. To two, to not talk to his friends like this no more. Um, and then, you know, like, of course, your boundaries. Like, what are your boundaries now? Like, does, is he friends with an ex? And now you're like, never mind because of something happened here, right? So now make your own boundaries. Now, if he's willing to abide by these boundaries, of course, not like being like, don't make him do crazy things like, oh, take out the trash, do this, do that, do this. And like, just demanding, making him do everything. No, like... Just keep it between that situation. Have the boundaries. Now, if he's showed all of these emotions and he's sticking to the boundaries and is actually working on himself and trying to fix that part, I feel like you can offer forgiveness. I'll never judge nobody for offering forgiveness to people, but don't get played, right? Because some people like to put on an act and be like, I'll never do that again and yada yada. But then those type of people, though, never really try. All they do is talk and people believe their words. No, I want you to believe his actions, right? Don't believe his words. Believe his actions. So yeah, but let's jump right into the comments. I didn't need to explain that for that long, but I did. Um, where's my camera roll? Okay, so let's jump right into these comments here. So we got, I I could have cheated on you, but I stopped myself. And then everyone gifted that. Um, someone else put, send him this picture and bounce. Someone put, yeah, I'd send him this picture and tell him that luckily for him, he doesn't have a girlfriend anymore. Um, someone put, quoted why do i have a girlfriend it says tell him he no longer does so he doesn't have to cock block himself move on and find someone better he's not worth it someone also put please do this don't be hostile but like you said don't under underreact like it's nothing exactly give him a simple hey don't worry about cock blocking yourself anymore you don't have a girlfriend anymore um and lastly someone put why do i have a girlfriend question mark that's so weird because last i heard he was single for saying really dumb ish about his girlfriend someone else put i do not get cheating like this with a non-married pre with people with no kids together why drag it out when you can easily break up um girlfriend and boyfriend i don't think it's easy to break up but i understand what they're saying but yeah man it's just it's just such a crazy crazy thing man crazy thing i feel honestly so bad for this poor lady um i i necessarily like i said if, if everything falls into that category i wouldn't say that forgiveness is bad but if things don't fall into that category then i would say yeah maybe you should leave this man especially because you guys yeah you guys aren't married there really is no attachment um except for feeling wise which i do 100 percent believe leaving a relationship is 100 percent difficult it is and I, I i even though sometimes i can't understand it sometimes people will be abusive people will be cheating people will be doing this though for me 
me i think i personally would um you know leave in those situations and as long as i don't you know like like i said that falls in those categories uh to other people it really is difficult and sometimes they it, they don't it doesn't even have to fall in that category they'll let someone lie to their face and still stay you know what i'm saying so i'm praying for you though i pray that you end up figuring out what you got to do in that situation i pray for that boyfriend man i hope that he ends up figuring out that you know he that he messed up and that he's remorseful so y'all can keep this relationship together hopefully one day y'all get married but uh you know if that's not the case if this is you know he ends up trying to gas gaslight lie do all this or if he's like okay whatever i don't want to be together you know so be it you'll find somebody in the future though life is not about relationships or partners make sure you focus on yourself focus on the lord and keep you pushing but right peace